Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim with the Nintendo Dads coming at you with a first look of Trek to Yomi on the Nintendo Switch. Um, this game uh, is something that I've been hoping would come to the Nintendo Switch because I got to play it last year on the Xbox. Not very far um, because I got in, I got past the first door, first chapter, I call it. Um, and basically left off here, this spot right here, where we're looking at today in the game, is where I left off on the Xbox version, because I said, you know what, I think this is coming to the Switch. And so I decided to stop playing it on the Xbox, uh, through the cloud, and, uh, decided to play it here on the Switch. Um, so let's check it out together, first look, um, although I did I got to peek at it because I got through the first chapter to get to this point. Um, but we're going to take a first look at the at this chapter together. So, but while we're sitting here in this spot, let me just put out a couple details for you. This game is currently on sale. It came out today, January 30th, 2023. It's on sale for $15.99 on the U.S. eShop. I'm sure it's around that price for a lot of other people um, or within a few dollars. Uh, it's basically 20% off. Hopefully it's also 20% off in your region, and it's on sale here in the U.S. until February 13th, 2023. So this game is basically an action-adventure uh, published by Devolver. Uh, but one of the biggest things to shout out here is that, uh, let's see, Leonard Machari is, uh, is an independent video game developer, writer, and director. Um, who created this game and worked with others to bring this game out. It's been a passion of Leonard's to get this out. He's been working on it for a long time. And um, I was very impressed with what I saw on the Xbox. Um, but it's basically something that, again, I said, this is coming to the Switch. It's got to. It may not look as smooth and pretty as it, if you were to play it on the Xbox um, or PlayStation, but uh, it's right now. I've just been playing it here on screen, and I can't wait to check it out on the OLED as well in handheld mode. Uh, but right now, it looks pretty decent, um, and I say that because I did get spoiled by what it looked like in on my phone um, playing it that way uh, through the Xbox Cloud. Uh, but again. This game, uh, has, they began working on this, or he's been working on this since 2000. Um, and it's basically a, an experience inspired by the Japanese movies of the 50s and 60s. So, um, and I, I, I haven't watched a lot of those. Uh, I watched a few with my friends. I love a good martial arts movie, uh, kung fu movies, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but this is what that is supposed to kind of invoke and it definitely feels that way and one of the key things that i saw right away in this is that you as you can see right now i can't swing my sword around right now that that sword is sheathed that's because they're trying to convey or leonard what trying to convey the respect samurais had for their weapons they just don't will you know throw their swords around all the time so um it's just something I just thought was very interesting, and they did a lot of research too, and had a lot of uh, a lot of people, a lot of advisors on this game to make sure it was authentic. So, all right, enough of me blabbing here. Let's check out this this particular side of things. One of the things I will show you as well is the menu. Um, this is basically you get a journal and I love it when games do this so that it helps me remember in case I go play a different game and come back to it. I can go through the story and remember what what I did. So <clears throat> this is good to read and uh, I didn't want to spoil anything for the first part of the game for you because there's a lot going on in the first part of it. And it'd probably be pretty boring if you were to watch me go through it and then you decide to play it and have to watch yourself go through it again. So I figured you'd want to see some of the action more than the story. Um, but again, you can see the, um, like I said, the journal of what's going on. 
There's also a skills area. Basically, the, the this goes over again. This helps me as a player to be able to come back and say, okay, this is how I do these moves. That's good. I'll remember that. And then I will also remember how to do these defensive moves. So there's a lot of parrying, a lot of blocking. Um, so lots of good stuff here. And the reason why you need to know all this stuff uh, is because you are basically moving your, your samurai and you need to learn these moves as if you were the samurai in the game. So you have to have patience for blocking, patience for parrying, patience for hitting back, patience for being able to hit somebody in front of you and then behind you. Um, so there's like a... It almost seems like this could be... They could have added a rhythm game element to it. I'm glad they didn't, but it almost seems like they could because there's like a, a, a rhythm to everything. So going this way to this person in front of you and then you got to get the person behind you, block them or attack and then come back for the other person. So it gradually builds through to get you used to the combos that you would need to make to for this battle. And then there's also artifacts you can collect. So there are, this is probably what's going to take me the longest part of the game is I'm going to be searching. I'm going to be wanting to know if I missed anything, which it's quite possible I did. Um, in fact, in the first story, it looks like I missed a few items. And I don't know if I can go back or what, uh, but we'll find out. So... Um, yeah, so again, I'm blabbing away. Let's see some of this action. Now I've got the screen here. I usually just play on the screen in front of me with OBS, but uh, I need I need timing, so I can't have any delay. So, so yes, this is in. Uh, Japanese. So, there is no there's just subtitles. It's just like, a, just like watching a kung fu movie. All right, let's see. Hopefully, I remember these buttons, even though I. <laughs> so, I can do what I need to do. So there, okay, so YYX quick combo with stunning final. So basically I'm blocking and then hitting them and killing them essentially. So there are different levels to play. Um, and I don't know if I can see that here. <laughs> no, I can't see it here. There are different level, uh, different um, difficulty levels that you can pick from. So there is a, let me see if I can get the details up here. So there is a Kabuki level, which is the story mode, essentially. Story mode, low difficulty. And then there's a Bushi Bushido uh, for those who want both story and reward or sword. And then there's a Ronin for the experienced players who like a challenge. So. I'm working my way up to it, so, uh, but I, I, I imagine Bushido is the normal mode, uh, Kabuki is the easy mode, and Ronin is the hard mode, and then if you, once you've beaten a level, um, once you've beaten one of these, yeah, available upon the completion of any difficulty, you'll unlock uh, Kensei, which is uh, one kill, one hit, one kill for both of you guys <laughs> bad guys and you get it <laughs> once you're dead so now these are the shrines you these are the save points and it also replenishes your health there's also stamina so I can run you can finish stunning enemies to restore some health so I can press R Okay, 
so oh no that's right I have um, daggers I can throw I forget the name of them but uh, I can throw those which button was that の仲間どもは読みへ行った。己も死を望むのか。お前はわしの稲妻のごとき刃を買わせぬであろう。ならば見せてみよう。諦めねえ。I <笑> Every since the beginning all the way to this point, there's, there's always some new scene, and this is a new one, where you got kind of like the the silhouettes of the characters and stuff. This is is really cool. So I can't wait to see what it looks like on the old legend when playing is handheld. So oh, look, there's something down here shining. See that little shiny thing there? Need to go down here and get that. Oh, no, I'm good on my ammunition, so I don't need that. So, let's climb up here. There's a box. Another safe point. Might wait to do that. New collectible. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got the discarded kami carving. So the artifact there that tells more of the story or gives some of the history here, which is really cool. Let's see, you probably don't need that either. Yep, max ammo reached. Don't need that. I will save and climb. No. Come at me, bro. So it looks like I could climb up there, but I want to go around here. Yeah. Oh, look, there they come. Damn. I gotta get that timing down. Alright, so the journal has been updated. I still want to see what's over here. Oh, I guess I can go that way, but it looked like I could climb up here. But I guess not. Weird. Okay. There are some little secret areas so that you can kill the bad guys too. So if you find them, like in the first scene, a um, little hint, I was able to go through someone's back gate and get to the windmill and uh, windmill and knock down some logs on top of some bad guys. Whereas if I had gone the other route, I would have had to fight those bad guys. Just 
too. Alright, there's a ladder. Can I go up that ladder? Oh, yeah. Oh, but there's something shiny over here. I need to look at it. Nope, don't need that. Nope, don't need that. Let me go back this way. Might be something I can knock down on them, so let me go this way. Yeah. There we go. いくさだと聞いておったのに、雨の中、ババードも切ることは戦ではない。ここを見張ることこそ肝心じゃ。つまらぬ役目よ。人思い。So <laughs> there. Now I don't have to fight them. Let's see if there's anything shiny in there I can pick up. Oh, there's somebody down there I need to take care of. Let me go over there and get them. Go this way. Mo Anzuru Kotwa Nai. Katasikenai. Wakai Yokata. Mushi. Sushano Doshu or Mitewa Oranaka. いいえ。されど捉えたものどもを神川村へ連れて行くと、この鬼どもが話しておるのを耳にしました。ならば拙者はそこへ向かおう。どうか。ご無事で。So those are the weapons I have that I can throw. All right. So the other thing is I was going to mention too is like you can see this is main I'm playing the easy mode. So um I think I should have put it up one level, just at normal level, because these guys are way too easy. <laughs> but uh, something for you to take take to, into consideration. <laughs> Maybe I'll start over. I don't know. We'll see. But there it is. Let's see what's in here. Oh, nope. That goes that way. Cool. New collectible, what did I get? All right, crude techo, a horseshoe. Repurposed as a simple weapon by a desperate farmer. To strike while holding a tickle is to grant the strength of iron to a clenched fist. Such crude tools were not enough to stay the warlord's wrath. All right. Cool stuff. Love the history stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 
Why can't I get this guy? What the heck? Uh, wow. That's the first time I died. What the heck just happened there? Alright. I'm coming after you. <laughs> no, there, take that. Hold on. Guess I can't go back that way. Alright, which way? There's a fork in the road. Left or right? I love the camera movement on this too. That, learn about this, new collectible. Check it out. The three monkeys. Nice. Cool. Alright, so that was a good way to go. Seeing attacks and features that are effective against armor enemies. Okay, so let's go to back to this because so, I need to look at my moves again. I need to stunning combination YYX, basic combinations. All right, defensive skills. Other skills I need. I know the rotation. No oh, finishers. There it is. It's R. When your enemy is stunned, you can perform a finisher on him, which will restore some amount of your health. All right. Let's see if I can remember that. All right. Toko de tomori. Kono saki wa dare mo tousan. Yes. Heavy combination, nice. That was fun. That was a little intense fight there. One I had earlier was I like I had like four guys on each side of me and I had to go back and forth. That was a lot of fun. I had to use a combo. Uh, stuff there. Cinematics, just like watching a movie and stuff here. So, all right, let me look at something here. How long to beat? How long to beat Trek to you? The single player main story out of 209 pulled, five hours and two minutes. And the main and extras is 6 hours and 19 minutes. And completionist took 10 hours and 20 minutes. So, pretty quick game to get through, it sounds like. And a little bit, bit of replayability there because of the ability to... Like I said, you start off slow, get the story, and then go back again, get a little harder, um, and try to see how well you can do with fights. 
maybe even work your way up to, uh, what you call it there, um, the Ronin, or the one, the one hit and one kill thing, so, alright, let's go through this. Interesting. <laughs> and look at this. Uh, and the, the only thing that sucks is you can't capture anything. Oh, it sucks. I wish I could capture it. So, I mean, I am recording this, but maybe I need to go full screen. Let's go full screen. So, let's see. Game. And game only. Here we go. Let's, let's get rid of me here. There we go. Look at this. Just look at this. This is just beautiful. I need to get. I need to play the rest of this way like this. So, and I'll capture this screenshot later or something. Ah, oh, so cool. All right. I can go a different direction. Let's go up here. Alright. Stamina increased. Alright, cool. I just stole their stuff, apparently. Skill unlocked. All right, left, hold B, and then X. Sprint attack. So. Can I go this way? Nope. Alright. Sprint attack. Alright, let's give it a try. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Oh, 
anymore. Alright, here you go. I'm going to go, I guess. See if I can do the running thing. So it was hold down B and run. bodies in the boat. <laughs> New skill, alright. 
back left plus Y light rotation attack. Lots of combinations here.止めようとしたんじゃ。されど。されど。そっちはなせることを全て果たしたまだ。他に拙者のようなものを見ておらぬか。強い場でどうぞお気をつけて片付けない。Love letter. I missed a collectible somewhere. That's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. We're going you know, one side to another. There we go. Alright, well we've been playing this for a good 40 minutes here and I'm feeling like I'm going to get to a boss and again I don't want to ruin anything for you all. Because uh, this is, there's a lot of story here, and again, depending on your difficulty, you're going to get a lot more fights, or a lot more difficult fights, and this is ramping up a little bit harder and harder, I do have this on story mode, um, like I said, the easy mode, um, and you can see I'm, more, I'm having a little trouble with, with the timing, but that could just be me as a gamer, <laughs> so, but I'm having fun with this, and I'm enjoying this, especially because I know it's going to be a short story, so... And then uh, the fun part is going to be trying to see if we can get better at it. But with that, like I said, this is Trek to Yumi. It is going for $15.99 currently. Normally it's $17.99. So if you can, pick it up or add it to your wish list in case uh, you don't have the funds now and you want to pick it up later. Uh, this is Tim for the Nintendo Dads, and I will check you later. Bye.